I paid six dollars and nine cents for this jug. More on that later. Blaming high gas prices, so last year. The new fall guy is corn and drought. Milk is still pouring, but overseas. So says Scott Wallen, who's paid to promote milk in Florida. He acknowledges that milk has shot up 80 cents in the last year. You're seeing countries like China, Brazil, and Mexico adopt more of a Western diet and we're helping to fill that need by exporting more dairy than ever to these countries. Australia helps too, but a drought there is draining the U.S. even harder. Also, higher milk prices have to do with feeding Bessie. Corn for dairy cows has skyrocketed thanks to the country's ethanol plans. And we don't grow corn here in Florida to that, to that degree, so we have to bring a lot of our corn in from the Midwest, and that price is almost double to our farmers. Which trickles down through the processing plant and then to the retailer, who ultimately sets the price that you pay. As of Tuesday afternoon, a gallon of 2% TG Lee milk costs $6.09 at Albertsons, $5.95 at Publix, Walmart's got it for $5.77, Target sells it for $4.29, and CVS and Walgreens both come in at $3.89. Retail analysts say at those prices, the pharmacies aren't making money and instead luring you into the store with lowball prices. I should note that BJ's Wholesale sells this for $3.66. That's $2.43 cheaper than the highest price in town. Back to you.